This is Grandma Beans with a story a night till Christmas. This story is called, Yes, Virginia, There is a Santa Claus. As children grow older and wiser, parents inevitably are faced with the question, Is there a Santa Claus? When Virginia O'Hanlon asked this, that question of her parents in 1897, they suggested she write the New, the New York Sun for an answer. She did. And Francis P. Church, a Civil War correspondent, wrote an editorial response which has become an American literary classic. Dear Editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see it in the sun times, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia O'Hanlon Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except they do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant, in his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and, and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would, the, would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in the sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus. You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not. But that's no proof that they are not there. No one can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in the world. You tear apart a baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside. That there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view the picture that supernal beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia, in this world there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus? Thank goodness he lives, and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood.